Now, here is the first problem. So someone asked when, what is the practical use of VLOOKUP, right? So here comes the practical use of VLOOKUP. So this is the data that I have. Income slab and tax rate. Okay, income slabs and tax rate. So as you can see, less than equal to 99,999, it's 10%. 1 lakh to 2 lakhs 99,999 is 25% and so on and so forth, right? So that's the slab, that those are the slabs. Now here in uh, B10, I have income figures. I have to use VLOOKUP to get the correct tax rate for these income figures. And please remember, this could be any income figures, anything, anything under the sun. So I should, you should be able to give me the correct tax rate. So use VLOOKUP and see if you can find out whether what is the correct tax rate for these income figures. So I'll create a new table. Okay. The delay lag problem is gone, right? Totally gone. And you can see whatever I'm doing immediately, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, yes, far sir. better than, than our before. Okay. 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 Great. So income, and I'll say tax rate, right? Now, <clears throat> I'll create this table. So I start with zero. I start with zero, and I'll tell you why I've started with zero and what is the whole idea of that. Then it's 1 lakh, then 3 lakhs, and then 10 lakhs. Okay, and these are my tax rates. Okay, so now let's look at and try to figure out why, why did I do this? Now think of the example that we are talking about. Remember we said 300 to 399 returns 95. So whatever you give as a lookup value, 300 to 300, the entire range, you get 95 as the price. See, that's what I'm trying to do here. Okay, because what was the arrangement there? Remember, 100. Oops, sorry. Anyway, percentage doesn't matter. 100, 200, ignore the percentage, please. 300, 400, and 500, right? Remember, these are the five numbers. So 300 to 399 returns what? What you have here. Correct? 300 to 399 returns what you have, what it returned, what you had, what you had corresponding to 300. So that's what I want to do. Zero to just less than one lakh, which is 99,999. So zero to 99,999, I want 10%. One lakh to two lakhs, 99,999, I want it to return 25%. And so on and so forth. Correct? That's the reason I have <clears throat> treated the table given those income figures. Now, this is the most, this is the problem actually. The rest is pretty easy. So this is the problem. To design this table is the whole deal here, right? Now, if I go here and type now, we look up, right? I, I need not type 60,000 obviously as you understand. I'll type B10, okay? I'll take the reference B10. And this is the table that I'm interested in. And I will lock it because I'm going to drag it down. So I'm going to lock, lock it. And we know how to lock it and what is the utility of locking and all that stuff. And then column index number is 2, right? And then I'll say 1 because it's an approximate match. I can omit, but as I told you, do not omit for the first few weeks at least uh, the fourth, fourth parameter. Now, when I do this, what happens? VLOOKUP goes to 
E3, VLOOKUP goes to E3 and starts from this uh, cell. Is 0 less than or equal to 60,000? Yes. Next, is 1 lakh less than or equal to 60,000? No. Go back one row, return 10%. So now you can understand any number you give between 0 and 99,999, both included, will return 10%. Okay? And this you can easily drag down and drag it down and you are done. Okay? Because you have locked it, so it's no issues. There. If, you, if you forget to lock it, you'll get errors. You know why you'll get an error. So I'll not get into that. We have discussed that. But here comes the answer to the question that someone asked. What happens if in this example, I, my lookup value is 50, 5, 0, 5, 0. Why is this an interesting question? Because the lookup value is less than the first, first number in that column. That's why it's an interesting question. And I can do that very easily. Just change it to, and this is something that some of you, few of you might have done. Start with 99,999. And if you do this, the first one is an error. Everything else is fine. Now, why is this an error? Because the very first number that you have in the column is greater than the lookup value, right? The very first number is greater than lookup value, okay? And therefore, when you are using VLOOKUP approximate match, uh, approximate match, please start with a low number, okay? So zero, or if, if there's a possibility of negatives, start with a very small number, for example, minus 99,999 or something so that you don't have that problem of the first number being greater than the lookup value. Because if that happens, as you can understand now, you are in trouble. The other thing that you already have, I'm definitely figured, uh, you have definitely figured out by now, is that how does it work with 11,000? With 11,000. So see, what happens with VLOOKUP is that when the lookup value is greater than the largest number, which, because we have arranged in its ascending order, is the last number. Then it returns the value corresponding to the last row. That's how it works. Right? And in these cases, you can also remember that VLOOKUP approximate match returns the largest number less than or equal to lookup value. Okay, that's how it works. So if you are searching within ranges, if you are searching within a range, within range, then the function that you need is VLOOKUP approximate. That's the, that's the utility of, as I said, I'll demonstrate the problem with approximate match text, the problems that we sort of create for ourselves when you do that. So let's say we have some names and uh, let's say salary, right? So let us have, let's create some names and I'll make it alpha, uh, you know, in, in ascending order so that uh, there is no, no other problem in VLOOKUP approximate. So let's say this is, and then we have, uh, so someone called Neil and then Pat and so on, right? And let's give them some salaries, something like that, okay? So here it is, the data. Now, here I'll do an exact match and here an approx match, okay? The user enters the name in this cell 012 and let's say the user makes some mistake
okay or let's 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 not talk about the mistake let's let's take the reverse that this person is the user is actually looking for a person named neil neil but a different guy not the n w -E l okay he's a different guy let me use exact and see what happens correct press enter i get an error obviously because neil is not present which is what it should be which is what it should be because if this guy is looking for neil if it's not in your database you must get an error that makes a lot of sense but look at what happens if i go for an approx we look up the name two and one approximate right and it returns the salary of nwl doesn't give you an error so this person is not in your database but still returning something so avoid these these situations otherwise you'll make mistakes and you'll never even know what the problem is so where in this case the right response of the system should have been the person does not exist in your database it now gives you a number which is not wrong which is not what you're looking for so be aware of this and therefore i keep telling you do not use approx with text spelling mistakes can become deadly when you do that slight spelling mistakes 